Good morning. Welcome to the FTS Bet Slip on Monday, the 6th of April. Um, my uh, nephew's birthday in Australia. Had a bit of time on with him. Also, a girl I went to school with, Karen Maxwell. I haven't seen her since I left school, but for some weird reason, I remember that her birthday is today. Don't ask me why. Um, bit freaky, that, isn't it? Yeah, strange old boy. Um, Okay, what have we got today? Um, oh, Boris is in hospital, wishing him well. Absolutely unbelievable to read people wishing him dead um, on Twitter last night and people slagging off the Queen's speech. I just wonder what the matter is with people. Um, it just shows you it just wouldn't happen without social media, would it? It's, it's um, vile, really, just the stuff that people come out with. Um, I think uh, the country needs something like a pick-me-up from the Queen at moments like this, whatever your views. And um, as I said, Ree Boris, you know, I don't think uh, you can have political views that differ from people or not agree with things that people do, but going and publicly stating you wish them dead and things like that, I do not know what the matter is with people. Um, guy's got a child on the way. I just, it's staggering, absolutely staggering. Um, as I say, and these are the people who'll be lying around in parks. I mean, that fucking idiot Bruce Millington, who is a fucking knob end, um, talking about that yesterday. What's wrong with it? Uh, what's wrong with it, Bruce? Is once some start doing it, everybody starts doing it, and then you just get disorder, and the whole thing fucking falls apart. And there's nurses, doctors fighting to save lives. There's nurses, doctors dying. Um, so it's not too fucking difficult just to say to people stay in two three months we'll be through the worst and we can fucking move on you fucking dick um, nobody needs to be out at all this just doesn't need to happen unless you are a key worker um, or for the reasons they state I can't see I really can't see what is difficult about it and then cocks like that with fucking loads of followers well Bruce don't think it's a problem unfortunately that's the levels we deal with um, I do not know how many people they need to see die before they fucking pay any attention to it it's fucking ridiculous um, I just don't get it at all I just do not understand why people are going out when there is absolutely no need for it uh, there was a woman yesterday saying that um, this is how I fill my day. See, I get the ump and then I go and research stuff. A woman saying that vitamin D is absolutely um, essential to the immune system and you can only get it by sunshine, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I spent yesterday afternoon reading scientific papers on vitamin D, a immunologist. I don't know whether I told you this yesterday. I don't know whether I've done it before that. An immunologist had gone on and pulled this woman up and basically said, you're talking complete and utter garbage, um, that um, your immune system's developed by the time you're an adult, and she changed her tune, and then I started reading about it, and there's actually, actually no conclusive proof again that vitamin D uh, improves your immune system. There's no conclusive proof that I could find. Again, if people find it, point me, but I read a couple of scientific papers yesterday, um, and basically it said it may help, but there's nothing... Um, you know, over 30 years in it that sort of vitamins have come on the scene. I mean, when we were kids, you weren't running around buying 7Cs or whatever it was, Centrum or whatever they are. Um, it's been a boom industry in the last 25, 30 years. And a lot of it, again, is fake news and fake bollocks and industry creating products um, for the sake of it and people buying into it and thinking that it changes their life um, I drink I drink lemon every single day. I drink a lemon, honey and lemon, once or twice a day. Two to four lemons every single day, just because I like the drink, um, not for any other reason. I'd, I'd like to have, um, at some part of the day, I do like lemon. Uh, so I just squeeze a couple of lemons into a cup, boil in water, put a bit of honey in just to sweeten it up. I have that pretty much every day. Still get colds and things. All this, it chases in my way. Load of old nonsense. Um, anyway... Just stay indoors. What is the matter with people? Um, enough of that. The old footballers are taking a rock in, aren't they? That's going, uh, that's going to rock and roll, that one. Um, right, you don't want to hear any of that. Anyway, where shall we start? Where shall we start? Let's start with um, Book of the Day. Book of the Day, really, I really enjoyed this. It's been made into a movie. Um, it's a sort of true, well, it is a true story. Um, 
uh, Molly's Game by Molly Bloom, um, which basically Molly Bloom was um, key in running underground poker games. Um, seeing as I thought poker yesterday, I thought I'd bring this book up. Um, got herself in a lot of bother through it, but she ran some of the biggest sort of poker games underground from celebrities and billionaires, movie stars in Hollywood, flitting between Hollywood and New York. Um, she was only young, 25, 26 years of age. Um, she's now gone on to become a sort of speaker, but she did get done. They did make it into a, a movie. I think the, I don't know whether the film was called Molly's Game, um, but it's by Molly Bloom, Molly's Game. Um, just an interesting read if you like that sort of thing. It's quite an interesting um, life that she led. Um, so that is the book of the day. Um, and that leads me into the poker. I said about setting up a poker tournament on poker stars for FTF members only. Um, I think we've got enough interest for that. So I shall go ahead and set that up. I'm thinking of doing it Friday, 7 o'clock. Um, it will be £11, that's it. So you can only lose £11. We all start with the same chips, but I will get that set up through this week and send a link for people to register um, Thursday or Friday and post it on um, the forum and Twitter. Um, and you can register as a um, register for a game of poker. Uh, just a bit of fun, as I say, 11 quid, but you can sit there, can, you can have chat boxes at the table. Um, and we'll do that, and the winners, 15, top 15% 15 will take some money home, and I will pay the person who knocks me out, um, or give them a prize of some sort. So I'll set that up, keep your eyes peeled, and I'll let you know about that. Um, right, this week would have been the build-up to the old club championships. We'd have all been getting excited. So I have set up a little Masters quiz. Um, we did the lockdown quiz. Chris Winterfray, you won it. You still haven't sent your address in. I'm going to give you till the end of today. Otherwise, that's void now. And we will move the prize on to this one. Um, but I'm going to post five questions a day for this one. So we're going to have Masters right up through to Masters Sunday. You may not be watching the old club champs, but you can answer my five questions. Usual rules apply. Um, if there's a tie, it will be done on time. That doesn't mean you've got to click like a maniac. Only one go each. Don't need to go Googling what's the point. You're cheating yourself. Nobody needs to win that badly. Um, top three are going to get prizes. Seven days, 35 questions. The first five questions are up today at ftsincome.co.uk slash masters hyphen quiz hyphen part hyphen number one and one as in the digit so fdsincome.co.uk slash masters hyphen quiz hyphen part hyphen and then the digit one so that and i'll put the link on twitter um and um yeah enter the old masters quiz see old sugsy in this one he loves it so much see how you go so book of the day marley's game we've got the poker come in on friday night and do the masters quiz keeping you all busy five questions won't take you long um right it's vegetarian and vegan week um gotta give you guys look after you in this day and age i get a load of abuse if i don't um so we are making we're going to start off with a curry we're making a, a tofu tikka masala um, nice meat eaters would put chicken in this, but you can make it with tofu. Um, right, you want the extra firm stuff, the extra firm tofu. I've had this because my, um, as I say, my brother and sister are both um, of the vegetarian persuasion. So you want about 16 ounces of firm tofu, three cloves of garlic, one onion, one red pepper, two carrots, um, about two to three medium potatoes, a small cauliflower, uh, a small jar of passata, a can of coconut milk, and then your spices. You want ginger, about an inch thick piece of French ginger, a fresh ginger, French ginger, fresh ginger grated, tablespoon of garam masala, one to two teaspoons of cumin, teaspoon of ground coriander, teaspoon of turmeric, quarter teaspoon of paprika, um, quarter teaspoon cayenne pepper more if you want it a bit hotter a bit of salt and pepper some coriander if you've got it fresh coriander for garnish don't have to have that and some frozen peas 
Right, first things like we did last week, we're going to make the uh, paste. So you're going to put the onion, the garlic, and all the spices and the ginger into a blender. Blend it up into a paste. Once you've got that into a paste, into a pan with a bit of oil, stir it round. Add in your tofu cubes and give it a gentle stir and then add all your other ingredients. So add your sliced carrots, your cauliflower florets, just break them into little florets, dice your potatoes, your passata, and your coconut milk. Pour all that in, add some salt and pepper, and leave it on, not your peas yet, just leave that on really low for two, three hours. Again, you could put it in a slow cooker, those of you who've got a slow cooker, but on really low for two, three, even four hours. Um, once that's once that's done, say you've given it three hours, uh, add in the peas just for the final five or ten minutes before you serve. Just get a cup of frozen peas and lob them in, and then you can serve that with side of naan bread, bit of rice, brown rice probably, um, garnish with your coriander. Um, job done. So there you are, a little. Tofu tikka masala, do make sure you use the firm tofu if getting involved because otherwise it does break up and go all horrible. Right, there you go, see, don't, don't say I don't look after you. Um, right, stat of the day. Um, throwing up some interesting questions, these. Um, I'm going to Ultimate today. Somebody brought up Ultimate yesterday uh, and said, what do I look? What I don't like in Ultimate is when you've got something that's won, say, 100-odd points, but one season it's lost about 50. Um, I don't like big swings like that. I don't mind if you have losing seasons, six, seven points, but I don't like, personally, big losing seasons. But those of you on Ultimate, I'm going to give you just a... I quite often get, don't know where to start. And again, it's one thing that people click the macros or they'll go on the forum and use other people's ones. The whole idea of everything we do ultimately, 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 ultimate, is to get you to try and do things yourself and um, find your own way around the sheets. So I'm going to give you a really simple one. Those of you on Ultimate who've got the Ultimate database, um, put your away to We want two leagues, only the Premier League and Serie A. Put your away teams to odds on, so less than two. So column I, the Betfair away team, less than two. Remember, this is odds at eight o'clock on a Friday morning. Um, always collected at that time. So you've got what 2012 it goes back to. Away team at less than two. And then you have my value figures. So obviously I price up as well. And you've got where I make the team negative. So where the red, where you've got a red number in column O, my away value. So basically I am saying the price on Betfair is too low. Um, so away team less than two with a negative away value. Laying the draw has won in the last, those two leagues on its own, has won 150 points and never had a losing season. Never had a losing season. That's the sort of thing I like, just trops along. I'm, this blimmin' lockdown, I'm giving you all my state secrets, honestly. Um, and I'm going to do a pod on average pricing because... Um, some of you have got this horribly wrong and there was a provider who used to do this years ago and it used to wind me up. I used to drop him emails every time he sent one out um, and me and him had a right old falling out. But the average pricing um, of those, just to give you a guide, is 4.57. That's the average. So there will be games that you're laying at 4.7, maybe even 6.7, but the average of your lays, the majority of them will be around the 4.5 mark, um, some even lower. But uh, just to give you an idea that that is the average, uh, it's got nothing to do with what your profitability or strike rate is. It just if people say, well, what's involved? Generally, you'll be laying around about the 4.5 mark, but there obviously are some bigger prices that do crop up and some lower ones, but the average price is 4.57. But I will cover average pricing in a pod in general um, when I get chance. I've, I did put a sheet together for a query from somebody a while back, and I can't find it, so I'll have to do it all again, um, and then I will discuss it on the pod with you, um, because people trying to bet to average prices are going to do their bollocks. Um, Right, done the Masters quiz, told you about the poker. 
poor old Boris. Um, nothing, nothing else. Nothing I can think of. I had a story to tell you, and I'm flipping my brain's gone. I've been doing stuff this morning, and my brain has flipping evaporated now from the story. I thought, I don't think I've told them that one. We've still got to get some of them Vegas stories out as well, haven't we? Um, that big fucker this year, the last time I went back in uh, January, February, to Nobby was. Um, had something about him as well, which has slipped my mind. Sorry, guys, my brain's gone, my brain's gone. Um, have I done joke of the day? Have I done joke of the day? I love it. I love the fact you're all digging me up on my jokes and you're sending in complete and utter shite. So Stephen, Stephen Humphreys has basically said that my um, my jokes aren't uh, any good. Um, and he sent four in. He's called it Joke Upgrade. Stephen, they're flipping dreadful. Um... I mean, this is, I'm going to use this one, it's just awful. Man went to the doctor and asked him how to lose weight. Doctor said, don't eat anything fatty. Man said, do you mean pies, chips and cakes? No, the doctor said, don't eat anything fatty. I mean, what is that? Rolling in the aisles, a couple of, I have, a couple of you have sent me one rolling in the aisles. But what is all that about? Stephen, I don't mind you having a pop at my jokes, but send something in decent. Believe me, dearie me. Um... Right, is that it? Are we done for the day? Stat of the day is ultimate. And people, oh, I've got ultimate. Well, it is what it is. We've got to cover about another 70 days of this. 63 days is my prediction um, before we get any form of getting away from that. So there you go. Um, right, have a lovely Monday. Stay safe, stay indoors. We've got FTS Fitness on the website, don't forget, right hand menu. FTS Connect if you want to get in touch with people. Um, house Party is a good app to get if you want to stay in touch with people and you've got games and things you can play. Um, I've been on there was this morning. Um, that's it, you don't need any more. Um, got recipes, everything. I've got a delivery this week, got a delivery slot. Get in there. I've worked out how to get the delivery slots. If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Um, have a lovely Monday, and I will see you all, speak to you all tomorrow morning. <laughs>